What's up everyone? Welcome to our fourth ever full flight video. And we are going to be taking flight 2246 once again to Chicago. Um, so, uh, look at this. You can see it's thunderstorming in Chicago right now. And so, we have been put on a delay because of the huge storm in Chicago. If we type in our flight number, 2246, you can see that it shows on time, but really, it's late. You can see the big storm there in Chicago. And uh, you can see that our inbound aircraft, Flight 289 from Boston, has been delayed one hour and 49 minutes. So we'll see what's going to happen here. It's definitely going to be interesting. And we will keep you posted. Um, but right now, showing on time. Of course, it's not going to be on time. But that's all. All right, that's all for this video. Okay, it is 9.10 here in Florida. Our flight, or our plane, N-8-10-N-N, new library, um, um, it just got out from Miami, and since the bad storms in Chicago, as you can see here momentarily, the plane, instead of having a regular, typical 2-hour, 49-minute flight, is having a 3-hour, 30-minute flight. So it won't get in until about noon at Chicago, then it's got to have a 50-minute layover, and who knows what the heck the weather will be. And then, if it does get out at 12.50, then... Then it'll be getting into us around five, around five forty-five, and then we won't get up until six, which is about a three-hour. Uh, I think I did that wrong. Whatever. But we're gonna see what happens. This is crazy, y'all. Uh, we're on N eight ten N N, which is a new library. Just took off from Miami, and we'll keep you posted with uh, what's going on here, and. Um, all right, so hope you enjoyed this part. Since our plane was recently painted in Peru, Indiana, G-U-S, um, it does not have any videos of it in the new library. This is the only picture I found of it. And that is the plane that we will get to meet today and hopefully ride if nothing changes. So that's it for now. Welcome back to the full flight video. Uh, we are just going to show you an update on our plane. So, let's go take a look at the iPhone. It is 1023. So, here's an update on our aircraft. It is still flying by in Chicago. An hour 15 minutes into the flight, two hours and 16 minutes remain in the flight. Yes, it is a three hour 32 minute flight from Miami to Chicago because look how they're routing these planes. <coughs> My grandparents are going to West Palm Beach today. Look where they are. They're crazy route as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And so after our plane lands in Chicago at 1148, which is 1248 here. We will be leaving for the airport, and our plane will just be arriving at the gate at Chicago. Then leaving for gate C-11, and I'd say the earliest we're going to get the hell out of here is probably 5.30. Uh, so we'll keep you updated. This is going to be a long day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're still on an 810 and everything's still the same, so uh, we'll keep you posted. Bye. Now at the airport, checking in, and we are going to go down soon. There's Dylan Flood 0394. Hey, we turned off now. Montgomery escalator down. I see I see grandma's plane building with the super 80 and 565AA. And we're gonna go get a look at Grandma's plane. No, it's at C9. Yes, my grandma is flying today. And there's an old library. 
It's the 11th, probably flight 1305. So we got Graham's plane down there. The flight 1305 to DFW. FC11. Right here. What the heck is taking so long? The Super 80, you can see it's C9, is N565AA. And the 737 with the old library, you can see it's C11, is N802NN. There goes flight 1305 and 802NN pushing back. And 802NN. That's an 802NN pushing back right there. That's it. American Airlines, you don't suck, but this is a long delay. Let's go take a look. We are at the West Palm Beach Airport. We're supposed to take off at 3. Now we're estimated to take off at 6. So we're on a 3 hour delay here. There's our status. Now we're arriving at H16, which you guys have seen before. We've been at H16 for flight 1474. $2 with a meal. <laughs> but he's going to change it. Oh, that's nice. Um, and here's our status. Now we're getting in at 8.15 instead of 5.15. So, Where are you sending that to? It's for my uh, full flight video, Gigi. Why are you having a full flight video, Charlie? Because I always like to go back and watch them, Gigi. Why? Because it's fun. Okay. <laughs> I think that's B3. Can't tell. And 565AA is still sitting there. That's gate C9, by the way. And there's some Delta gates. Oops, sorry for the finger. C1. There's United Concourse B. That's B1, B3, B5, B7, B9. And now we're not leaving till 6, getting in at 8.15, three hours late. It's crazy. Concourse C. We're going to C. We're going to C11 now. We'll probably get switched to C9, though, because there's a flight to Dallas going out of C11. At the same time, our flight's scheduled now. So we'll see what happens. Stay by me. Hello. I just might run over to the gate to like get a quick. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. No, right ahead it says restroom. Where? To, right ahead to the left. Let's get C4 boarding. C5 is an American gate. Oh, look, there's Grandma's plane still sitting there. Ha! It's C9. You see the tail of it? I'll, sh I'll show you. You can see it at C9. It's still there. Hiker vault. Hello. C9, 
with N565. I've been saying that forever. And C11, let's see if this is our flight or the flight to Dallas. That's our flight. So we're at C11. There is my grandma's Super 80 and 565AA. And it is luckily just pushing back at 3 o'clock. Holy crap, look at that tail cone. Dylan, they don't have the stripes on the tail cone. That is super interesting. I'm waving to them to see if they see. You can hear the MD80 engines warming up. Shut up. The engines, I'm trying to hear the engines. Shut up. No, it's not. There it goes. Get your ASS out of there, Super 80. Been to C9 way too long. Right, Dylan? Whoa. That was zoomed in and I just saw up your nose. Ew! Alright, flight 2246 is about to land. N810 and it's at 630 feet. And we are going to watch it land. Yay! How are you doing? Good. 774 feet. 558 feet. 394, 373, 352, 330. And it's about to land. We have 331 feet, 316, 301, now it says 384, I don't know what's going on, but it's about to land, and we're going to see it, 216 feet it says, 97, 82, 82. here we go. Eighty feet, seventy, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Here it goes. It's about to land on the ground. Let's watch it land. You'll be able to see it. You'll be able to see it here shortly. It says zero feet. It sh you should be able to see it shortly. I hear it. There it is. That's an eight ten and an. Taking us to Chicago O'Hare. Ooh, and we're gonna get to see it drive past us. There's coming in. See the tail right there. That's us. It's just sitting there for a minute. Here it comes. It's about to pass us. There it is, N810 and N.
N8, 10 and N. And there goes our aircraft into gate C11. Hope you guys enjoyed. Okay, there's a plane coming in from Dallas at 934 and, and so it is a mystery to see what gate we are at. Will it be C9 or C11? I'm guessing C9. I'm not sure. And it is C11 that the plane is at. C11. C11. First of all, Jan, they're not supposed to be boarding. We're supposed to be boarding first. Then we gotta get in line. We are now boarding at gate C11. Okay. Go ahead. Alright. C11, Dylan. I remember running up this gate. When we got here. Sure did. Thanks C11 for another new library, but sucks because it has no sky interior. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Whoa! An what? The door. That's the door. Yeah. I will. Hi. Hi. I have to tell you. You can put that over there. Oh, did you get the jammers, Charlie? Here, are there some Shh. Yes. Yeah, so so I'm going to in this one. I'm sure you have it. Go back, guys. And we are row right there. eight. Right here. And two, one, A and B. Right here. Here are our seats. Here's our monitor. Which just went off. Oh, it's right in front of us. Oh, try to get a lot of light room. Yep, it's a bulkhead seat. Did we get so much right now? I know, but these are going to have to go over top. Right, so it's a bulk bulkhead seat. Oh, bulkhead seat. Put them on monitor. Get back. Sit back. Sit back. Sit Whoa. Back. See if this can go under your seat right there. Yeah. Right there. Okay, sit. Here's our gate. There's C9. Uh, you're gonna have to put it back before takeoff. Yeah, no. Papa, we're fine. Okay? Yeah, go to your seat. We're fine. Uh, you're nervous. Yep. Very good. Your carry on items are placed in an overhead bin yeah. or under the seat in front of you. It's very nice. We'll be ready to leave when all carry ons have been put away and all passengers are seated. Turn down the seatbelt sign. What? 
The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. For your comfort and safety, please return to your seat and fasten your seatbelt. Another video. They're gonna play the exit row one, I bet. Please make sure your nope. carry-on items are placed in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. We'll be ready to leave when all carry-ons have been put away and all passengers are seated. Please make sure mm -hmm. your carry-on items are placed in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you. No, we'll not at all. I know. When all carry-ons have been put away and all passengers are seated. The weather is pretty bad, I don't know. <laughs> C11 has been pushed back from us. Door has been shut. Dylan, can you see the gate out the window? It's moving back. Yeah. For those of you sitting in an exit seat, Please review the safety instructions card in the seat pocket. Don't look, there's the gate. As you may need to open the exit in an emergency. Please let a flight attendant know if you do not meet the exit seat requirements listed in the card. If you do not wish to or cannot operate the exit, or if you feel you could be injured performing the functions listed on the card, we'll be happy to find you a different seat. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please switch off and put away laptop computers, smaller handheld electronic devices, such as cell phones, e-readers, tablet computers, and MP3 players may continue to be used during takeoff. If your electronic device has cellular capabilities, please switch the device into airplane mode so that the cellular transmission functions are disabled. Cellular There's a person must the remain off for the duration of the flight. Flight attendants, prepare for departure and cross check. We have a girl co-pilot, Dylan. Look down, there's a person in the gate. She's gonna, there's an old American waiting in the floor. She's gonna connect the gate to that plane. I mean, connect the plane to that too. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we'd like to welcome you aboard American Airlines Flight 2246 to Chicago. Your flight crew for this afternoon is Captain Bob Ballin, Two hours, First Officer minutes. Carrie Parrish. Two hours, Our flight time from minutes. Palm Beach to Chicago will be 2 hours, 59 minutes at an altitude of 38,000 feet. The weather conditions in Chicago are cloudy. Temperature is 35 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Your safety and comfort are important to us. You can please give us your attention as we play our safety video. Thank you. Here we go, we're pushing out. I thought you said it was 49 before, Charlie. There are so many places I to thought go it was. World. Maybe that was so many airlines that can take me. So we thank you. For making the journey with us. Thank you. We're glad you're here. And now we'd like for you to pay attention to the following safety video. First, Please fasten your seatbelt. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle and pull on the loose end of the strap to tighten. To open, lift up on the buckle. We recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened at all times, as turbulence can occur unexpectedly. As we prepare for takeoff, 
Please be sure your seat back and tray table are up and carry on baggage is under a seat. Smoking is not allowed at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the lavatories may result in a fine. U.S. law requires passengers to comply with all signs and crew member instructions about seat belts and smoking. So that you may follow along, we have provided a safety instruction card in your seat pocket. All exits on this airplane are clearly marked. Please refer to the safety instruction card to locate your nearest exit. Keep in mind, the closest exit may be behind you. On this airplane, life rafts are located in ceiling compartments. Each cabin exit door and some exits over the wings are equipped. Look, John, there's the old American some at 9.34 a.m. over the wings may also be used That's the plane waiting to fill in. has escape path lighting in the aisle. Red Focus. lights or an exit sign will indicate you have reached an exit. In an emergency there evacuation, leave all carry-on bags behind and quickly proceed to the nearest exit. If the aircraft cabin loses pressure, the panel above your seat containing oxygen masks will open automatically. While remaining seated with your seatbelt fastened, quickly reach for the nearest mask and pull down firmly to start the flow of oxygen. Put the yellow cup over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic band over your head and tighten by pulling the straps on either side. Breathe normally. Even though oxygen is flowing, the plastic bag may not inflate. Always put your own mask on first like the and then in. help others near you. Your seat cushion may be used as a flotation device. Remove the lower cushion and put your arms through the straps found on the opposite side. Fine? The life vest is located under the seat or between seats. The safety instruction card shows the exact location. To use the vest, open the cover by pulling the red tab or compartment handle to break the seal. Remove the vest from the package like this. Put the vest on over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, and attach the buckle. Pull the loose end of the strap to tighten. Once outside, pull down on the red tab to inflate the vest, or blow into the red tube on the side of the vest. There is also a light that will illuminate upon contact with water. Never inflate the vest inside the airplane. That old livers at 9.34 a.m. Final cabin check. We'll be back after takeoff with more information about your flight. Thank you for your attention and for choosing American Airlines. Thank you for flying American. We're glad to be your airline. We're glad you're here. It's about to pull in the C-11. Watch it pull in, it's really cool. Okay. There it goes, Dylan. It's going to come right at us. Okay, I can see it anymore. Well. Dylan, look. Buddy, watch this. It's going to come right at us. This is the plane that Dad took to New York two days ago. And there it goes into C-11 at 9.34 a.m. That's on 9.34 Right, that's what I said. Dad took that to New York two days ago. And there it goes into C-11. two hours. Because they only took off an hour ago and it's three hour flights to Chicago today. Charlie, is our flight usually two hours and minutes? No, two hours, two hours. I mean, we've got a normal flight time. There's a 9.34 a.m. sitting at C-11. Gosh, that's an old plane. C-11 is connecting to it.
Chicago. Uh, presently, we still have uh, flow control due to heavy traffic into Chicago, so they gave us a departure time of uh, 6 o'clock right at the top of the hour. Oi. So we're going to shut down here and wait for our time to come, and then we'll be on our way. Oi. What time is it now? All right, so we are on the waiting tarmac, just like Grandma's flight. We got 20 minutes. Gosh, damn it. So we've got 20 minutes of sitting here. That's just great. That's just great. How is your phone charge? No, I need to use the lavatory. Yeah. Great, so now we got 21 minutes of sitting here. I have nothing to do. And we'll see if we get out at 6 o'clock. I was smart, I called them. I'm like, shoot, we're going on the waiting time. We're allowed to get out of our seats. I need to go use the restroom. Well, we are sitting on the waiting tarmac. We are going to use the bathroom. Here it is. So. Never happened here. All right, they said they're gonna try and get us early, so we're starting yeah, out. Sure I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about their cell phone. What does the What does it do? It can mess with, interfere with cockpit, like with features like that. I can. Get out of this waiting area. There we go, we stacked up the engines. Perfect. Let's go, let's move. Takes the steal. He wins. Sun's gonna glare and Dylan, I'm telling you, these engines are gonna be epic. The what one's gonna be my point? The engines. Come on, say flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Come on, come on, come on. Anybody came out and said flight attendants to the right No, they said gate check or something. I don't know. Plane's about to come in. Alright, we're next for departure. 
future after that southwest one. Southwest is up. All right, we're next for takeoff. All right, the official takeoff video. Here we go. Trust me, it'll sound good. And official departure, here we go. And this is runway. Sorry, I can't see it. It says the number up there, so I won't be able to see it.
going down. See both sides out. Got a nice cabin here. It's very nice. I am. Sun's going down. We've got about an hour, ten minutes left in the flight. Landing at eight, which is two hours, forty-five minutes late. by the winglets. We are on a new library. It's been a great flight, some minor bumps. We've taken a very strange route. We are over Kansas right now. You can see we're hitting some more bumps now. And so we're coming in kind of from the northwest to Chicago. making a milkshake. Dylan, why do you play those games? Because there's a hungry chef on them. And so, we cruised at 38,000 feet today. Here's our bulkhead seat. The one thing that's bad about this is, Daddy, look how you guys are about to You guys are about to see how small this tray table is. That's the tray table, which is extremely small. At least it's smaller than the other seats in the main cabin. And main cabin extra.
seat used in this video is 8A. Already broke both of the safety carts. Put your feet down. What the hell is that? Looks like a plane. What? Holy crap. What? Do you see that cloud of smoke? No. I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. Wow, what was it? That was another plane. It is, I saw it. Why is it not good? Just crash into each other. Down this air traffic control, bud. I don't even see it anymore. And so we're we're 33,000 feet. We've got exactly an hour six minutes left in the flight. Watch this. Oh, he didn't get that. <laughs> yeah, because I just finished it, so. Alright, adios. Getting a lot of turbulence. Lots of turbulence, wow. Sun wake of turbulence, that was nuts. Your seatbelt's fastened? Wowzers, that was nuts. Oh, how does D then work? D, try to look. Try to look. Yeah. D, I don't know. See? Wait. Don't make sure you're buckled. Oh. Seatbelt sign is on. Oh, we're going down now. Uh, probably we're changing altitudes because it's too choppy at this altitude. Holy shit, was that lightning? might be storming. Holy crap. I think that was lightning. Yeah, I'm gonna play back my video. After the playback of the video, I don't believe it's lightning. Still hit some severe bumps here. Going through some clouds, changing altitudes. That was the 33,000 that it was chopping at
Baby. Blankets are now black. Bloodroom. How are you? Good. It's been a long time. Chicago circling around. It is extremely bumpy. We're just setting down. And we're gonna be landing in the next hopefully 20-25 minutes. So that 
And if they are, that's going to be good. I think they are. Yay! It's supposed to be on the ground right now. Been in the air for over three hours, which is kind of crazy. ASS for a flight. But those are the wheels coming down. Arriving at 
Beach 17, baggage claim 5. Yeah, No, they are done and they are, as a family, they have really uh, invested back in the society. Are they private? <laughs> no, 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 they are public. They're public. No, they are traded, oh yeah, they are traded within the stock market. Yeah. Whatever they call B, S, M, something else or something like that, there is stock market. Just like in your stock market, there is a name. So they, they trade over there. And there is one more company called Alliance. And now uh, is this terminal no three? Charge, no surcharge, no, yeah. no connection. No, no, no not yet. Yeah, I didn't no. think so. No, recharge it, but pretty much you can take a black and white phone, you can dial numbers. That's all you need. That's all. You need. Yeah, China, China, uh, Apple's trying to get it. China, Apple, China. Overpass bridge. No, no, yeah, the bridge comes. Up. And eight ten and nine on the overpass bridge. Right. Woo! This plane deserves to go on it, not at 9.14 a.m. Oh, yeah. Very cool. And Terminal 3 is straight ahead. I can't believe they're not even going to list connections. This flight attendants won't even come on and welcome us. Pulling up next to H18, which is a broken gate, and H15. We are back in cold Chicago. Oh! Oh, it's not good to be back at all. Got a nine minute taxi in store, I bet. Here's the aircraft taxi to the gate. That's Terminal 1. It is dark at ORD. It's a corner gate. Oh, I thought we were pulling in. Maybe not. Sorry, everybody. Felt like we were pulling in. Maybe this is it. I know we're somewhere close to Terminal 3. Bathroom. Some nights I call it a draw. But I still wake up. To see the dust You're the age 17 I don't know Don't know Anymore Let's see if we'll be able 
will see age 17. Some nuts are standing alone, but you can look so free. Some nuts are calling a dog. But I'll still wake up just to see the time. But I'll still wake up. Here's gate H17. And here's someone waiting to Ladies connect. Ladies please remain seated with your seatbelt to ask the captain has turned off the fastest seatbelt sign. Flight attendants prepare for arrival. Oh look, H17 is close. What's that about? So the two, two comments on here. There it goes. Wow, that was a fast. And here goes the gate connecting to our plane. Here it goes, moving up toward us. And here we go. Society and Christian, they give, isn't it? Yeah. They don't present any of them. Yeah. You go out at 2 3 in the morning, yeah. and there's millions of people on the street. Thanks, any time, Evan. I mean, the street. Yeah. Deboarding. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. H17. Can I use that? What? Yes! You guys asked me if I had a Snapchat. Ooh, big gate. Look at this. Our plane's going all the way back to Fort Lauderdale now. Is it really? Yeah. Wow, this is a long gate. This is the flight I took on a Sunday night. Back to Fort Lauderdale. And it was delayed. It was supposed to leave at 6 o'clock. Yeah, this Fort Lauderdale flight's now leaving at 9.15. Well, this kid knows. She asked him anything about flight parents. Well, he knows everything, huh? Yes. Well, like I said, I'm expecting big things from him. Did Gigi get off yet? Yes. Gigi's off. Come on, come on. What are you looking at? Come on. Charles. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Charles. Yeah. Stay with me. Well, all right, we are going over to my two favorite gates, H16. It has no plane. Going to Ra oh, geez, that's a big delay. Raleigh Durham, H16. And. Los Angeles out of H14. See if H14. Age 14 doesn't have a plan. Did it say? 12.53, not leaving till 9. Holy cow. So, no plan at any of our gates, but Los Angeles, 9 p.m. for age 14. Can I go right there? And we're gonna pick at our plane real quick. Since there's nothing at age 14. N810 N N. H11 B with no plane. Where's? Does that say Santa Ana? Does that say Santa Ana? San Jose. San Jose. And H11, what does 11A say? I am. Can you see what that gate says? Gigi, can you see what that gate says or no? 11A says? I didn't say it. Okay, bye. Sure. Where's H10? I'm sorry, I can't see them. 
What does that say? Boston? Boston. Okay, good. I read that one. Ooh, K6 has a new library. What? No. H11A has an old library. <laughs> no. Don't look, your gate's broken still. H9, still out of service. Dylan, I remember walking down there a week ago. What? I like That's the game we came down to Florida at. You do know it stands for David. enjoyed this full flight video stay tuned for more that'll be it bye